I'm back in Spain after Ibex. Last time it was a trophy beside his Ibex with a rifle. This time I'm after what's regarded as the most regal of the Ibex, the Gretos. Plus I'm using a bow. Hello Charlie, it's me, Max. I'm back in Spain. It's four weeks ago now. I was down here hunting with my rifle on the beside his Ibex. Now I'm back in Gredos. I'm supposed to hunt here in the mountain for the Gredos Ibex with my bow. And this time, David, I'm quite confident because I have a silent cameraman. This terrain northwest of Madrid is beautiful. We'll be hunting about 2,000 meters. Guiding us is Julian from Green Nature Outfitters. We are going to experience some amazing views as normally you hunt Ibex from above. I like the terrain. It's easier to get close here. Yeah, yeah, yeah but the terrain, the terrain makes it possible for me to get closer to the animal. Yeah, yeah but beside this is more... Uh, Julian warned me the conditions are going to be tougher than my previous adventure. Even though it took five days to get a clear shot at my beside his ibex, it's steeper here and we need to be a lot closer to our animal. I know I can shoot a bow at a range, but nothing like that. The landscape is certainly going to help me. Plus, these animals are not as nervous as the other ibex. They are wild but they are in a massive national park and not many tourists are carrying a bow. There's a very good population of ibex here and we spot some really impressive examples. I managed to get within 35 meters and shoot. He drops and falls directly down into a stream below. We spotted this ibex, a very old ibex. It's almost 12 years old uh, this morning and we watched him during the day and now passing uh, uh, midday we saw the ibex going in this valley close to the river and they on their way down to feed in, in the bottom of the valley so we went in and, and cut off the way for the ibex waited for them and he came in for a perfect shot at 40 meters so this is my dream come true i now have three of the four ibex species in spain only the smallest of them is missing, the Ronda Ibex in the south of Spain.